Hey everyone, Sean from Shamrock Earthworks here. I just want to take a few minutes today to explain the Trimble Earthworks system that we have installed on this Lee Bear 920 Compact and kind of what our next steps are as we go from 2D uh, into 3D on, on some of the jobs over the next few years. So I'll just kind of go through the hardware here. So on this guy, 2D is pretty basic. You know, you have your tablet in the cab, you have uh, sensors on each section of boom or stick, and then there's a couple in the tilt rotator for rotation and tilt. Uh, and then you just have the brains of the operation uh, mounted to the frame. Uh, so that is 2D. Uh, some of the next steps that we can take, this is the valve for the autos that will be going in once the rest of the kit is ready. And then if you want to go into 3D, these receivers here are going to eventually mount up on those masts. Uh, and this is the radio. And also you need a base station or this the cellular network that, that you can run off. But most people are running a base station. So. Okay, so a 2D system like this, you're basically replacing your grade man with the system. So we figure we're about 30% faster when it comes to basement excavations or excavating for tanks for septic systems so you know if you just do the math there you can kind of see it's it's gonna pay for itself pretty quickly uh, but on top of that I think the main thing that we realize is that the safety factor with having a system like this if we're digging a septic tank hole 17 feet deep nobody wants to go down there and hold a shot rod in the bottom of a hole that deep so you know it's great to have a system like this where we don't have to put people down in, in a ditch or a hole and uh, you know there's a there's a chance there'll be a collapse or something terrible happening so for safety sake having less people around the machine is obviously way better so that, you know that could be one of the, the best parts about the system really okay so here's a view from the cab We've got the grapple on sitting on the stair there this is what the screen looks like um, so you know, most of the time, if you're digging a basement or something, you're just going to be benching off a known elevation. You're going to be entering your cut or your fill here, and then you just go ahead and dig, and it, and it tells you where your attachment is. But if you look around in here, there's there's a ton of options that you can have on the, on the bottom runner here. There's just heaps of stuff in there that you can pick. So some of the ones that we like, obviously, uh, your cut and fill on your attachment. Uh, your distance from the bench, so how far out you are, uh, your height from the bench, and then this one here, when we're building walls and whatnot, is great. It's the attachment angle, so if you look there, if you put the edge of the grapple down on a rock or a stair or whatever you're working on, and then you look here, as close as you can get this to zero, this is just a percentage here, uh, that's level, so I can throw a stair in check and see if it's level. I can go from front to back, see if I've got drainage on that stair. Uh, so there's there's all kinds of information in here that you can use for your own specific tasks. So that's just sort of an example of, of one of many things that we, we use it for. When it comes to 2D versus 3D stuff, you know, obviously running a 2D system here and we're moving up into 3D eventually. Uh, but 2D is great for anything that you're trying to make level, great beam basement, you know, big barn pad, footings for retaining walls. Uh, 2D is, is great for that and it's probably all you need. Uh, we're moving more into some bigger commercial projects and we've been doing the skateboard parks for the last several years with a builder in town. And so if they can just send us a file uh, of the park and we can plug it in and dig right to grade right off the bat with no stakes I mean that's pretty amazing it's gonna save them four trips out to, to survey all over the place for us and uh, it's gonna save us a bunch of time too so it's a that's a, a win-win for us so that's one of the motivations for us to start moving towards 3d and I think it's gonna open some a lot more doors for us as well so pretty excited about okay, it so here's our kind of mock job we're gonna throw in here quickly so Whenever you're doing, you know, landscaping, everything is almost always relative to the house. So all the grades up to slope away, you're building retaining walls, patios, and everything is draining away from the house. So, you know, if we imagine that there's a patio and, uh, you know, the 
clubs is back here somewhere. Uh, and then we have to slope away from the patio and then they want to throw in a retaining wall over here. And we're in charge of building this retaining wall. So in order to find our grade that we have to get to right here, first we got to find this grade. Then we have to calculate our percent slope and how much lower this is going to be. And then we need to find out how tall this section of rock is going to be before we can find this grade. So if you're going to go out and do this with, with your labor and you got your laser level and you got your, you know, all kinds of tape measures going on and you're doing some math, just finding out what this grade is, is probably going to take you 10 or 15 minutes just to figure out what you're doing here. So I'll just go ahead and show you how much faster it can be using a simple 2D system here. So we have our rocks over here, our selection of rocks, which we'll pick, you know, which one we're going to use for base, which will be top. So we go over here, you know, usually we'll put a, maybe a piece of wood or something on the patio so we don't damage it. And then if we say that that is our benchmark right there, so we want to come away at 2%. Go ahead and if we want our wall to be maybe three meters away we have all these measurements down here that tell us how far away we've come from where we benched so if we come out to three meters right there come up a bit so that is going to be top of wall right there that'll give us two percent away from the patio and that will be our top of wall grade so now, from here, if we bench here, which I guess was already at zero, but if we drop down now, we can see our height from the bench is 1.25 meters, which is about four feet. And then we come over here. If we say we want this to be the top stone, stacked on top of something like this we can figure out how tall this stack of rocks is I'll just bench that again zero so we're kind of just using this as a, a tape measure here go down to the ground measure there so this stack of rocks is 1.1 meters tall as it is right now so if we were at roughly 1.2 over here we know that if we add four inches or ten cents to the base here stack those rocks up we'll get exactly where we want it to be for top of wall so we just did all that in what a minute so we can go ahead and purposes here. We're not going to get our 98% compaction on the snow. So now we can go ahead. Get our base rock over. Drop down here, you see 
52 up the top. Come over here. 58. So that's one way to check it. Put that down. Check here. Not far off. share how we use our Trimble Earthworks 2D system uh, in a little bit different application than most people probably are using it but whether you're using it for you know rock walls big landscaping uh, digging basements digging septic systems you know the increase in safety and speed and accuracy that you get with these kinds of systems uh, it's really a, a no-brainer so you know feel free to reach out with any questions you have about either our system or if you're thinking about getting into a system uh, and I'll do my best to, to answer those. Thanks.